Hi, and welcome to our discussion of Twin Peaks, Season 2, Episode 19, entitled Variations on Relations. So, as always, we'll give you some quick impressions, uh, and then we'll follow that up with a longer, spoiler-filled discussion after that. So, what did you think of this one? I liked it. I, we get some resolution on the cave-in. Okay. We have kind of some progression of the love stories between a few of the characters. Mm -hmm. um, and Wyndham Earl makes his next move. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. I didn't enjoy this one quite as much as the, the last episode. Sure, maybe B+. Plus. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I think a B plus would be fair. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I'm going to start with Catherine uh, because that's kind of a short, small sure. storyline. She gets the box open. Uh, Pete comes in, drops the box. It happens to open. But then there's another box inside a box, of right. course. Right. Uh, and that box seems to have the faces of the moon and zodiac mm -hmm. symbols on it. Right. Um, still no resolution on that. No. So. <laughs> <clears throat> no, though, you know, related to that, we get a little bit of discussion about the petroglyph. Yes. Which Andy has dutifully copied down. Wyndham Earl also copied uh, it, um, but they run it by Major Briggs. Yeah, so what had happened, the the, the cave-in, what seemed to be a cave-in at Owl, Owl Cave, was not actually a cave-in. It, it revealed this right. petroglyph on the wall. And Major Briggs says that he's seen it or dreamt it or something. He knows it from somewhere. He knows it from somewhere, yeah. exactly. Um, he's going to try and help them as much as he can. Uh, Wyndham Earl seems to seems to know that this petroglyph references the Black Lodge and the White Lodge, yeah. and kind of does this exposition in right. front of his uh, soon-to-be victim uh, about how the White Lodge is full of hope and good moral people that are sickening, right. and the Black Lodge is where he wants to try and right. get to. Yeah, it's kind of interesting because the Air Force, Cooper, the Bookhouse Boys, etc., everyone's interested in the White Lodge. But, of course, Wyndham Earl is interested in its its shadow version, the, the Black Lodge. But, as, as um, Hawk has said, in order to get to the White Lodge, you have to pass through the Black Lodge. Right, right. And you have to still be pure of spirit in order to get through the right. Black Lodge. Yes. Yeah, and so the, the connecting point with Wyndham Earl is that we find out that um, in the 60s, he had been loaned from the FBI to the Air Force mm -hmm. uh, as part of Project Blue Book, the investigations into UFOs. Mm -hmm. uh, and so Major Briggs is, is asked to reveal uh, some of what he knows about Wyndham Earl's involvement in that. And he says that, you know, he doesn't have access to all of it, but... Because he knows that this is going to potentially save lives, right. he's willing to, you know, sure. break the rules. He's no longer on right. the project. Um, his clearance right. has been revoked. Right. But Yeah, so we'll have to look for more on that next episode. We, we just get the kind of setup for that. Yeah. Right? That, that's on the horizon. What Cooper does find out uh, from Shelley mentioning kind of this poem to him uh, as she kind of starts to recite it, it Cooper finally finds out that that Donna, Shelley, and Audrey have all been contacted by right. Earl. He's inserted himself into their lives, and the way mm. that he's done it is by sending them this poem. We already right. know about the poem. Uh, in the last episode, he revealed to Audrey that it was a shell by uh, a, <laughs> a poem. poem by Shelley. Yeah. Um, and in this episode, we learn that it was a poem that Agent Cooper had sent right. to Earl's now dead wife. Yeah. So that's the significance of it to, mm -hmm. to Wyndham Earl. Um, and why he's kind of bringing that, that in. But, of course, it's ominous because he's kind of intruded on all of their lives. He's obviously kind of got uh, various in, unknown but undoubtedly nefarious intentions for them. Mm -hmm. It all seems to center on the Mist Twin Peaks pageant. Yes. So we have the beginnings of the Mist Twin Peaks pageant, the women who are uh, who are applying, who are putting putting their hats in the ring. Um, it's more than just Shelley, Donna, and Audrey. Audrey right. isn't even in town. She's still in Seattle. Right. Um, and, uh, you know... Nadine is putting her hat in the ring, right, and right. a number of other people, including Lana, Lana yeah. who has asked her lover, the mayor, uh, yeah. to ensure that she wins Miss Twin Peaks. Right. Um, right. So the the panel of uh, people who voting on Miss Twin Peaks are Doc Hayward, the mayor, and Pete. Right. 
Yeah, it's a, it's a very odd array. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Lana. Yeah, I Lana's, still don't understand the fascination. Lana her. seems shifty. Yeah, yeah, of course. I, I enjoyed the conversation between Bobby and Mike about why Mike is with uh, yes. Nadine. He said the combination of almost like supernatural strength and sexual uh, experience... And then he whispers something in Bobby's ear about what that right. equates to. Right. Bobby has a very immediate reaction. All heads turn to him, and yeah. he just kind of goes off to play, uh, pinball. you know, pinball yeah. to... Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah that, that, that was good. And then, of course, Bobby's also got a good reaction when he walks in on this, this kind of odd little double date, um, as it turns out. Yeah, so Gordon Cole is getting ready to leave. Uh, he sits down for coffee and pie with uh, with Shelley. Shelley. Yeah. Um, Cooper comes in with Annie, whom with whom he has ha just had a kind of date, yeah, a nature experience a date. with yeah. her. Um, they're holding hands. Gordon Cole asks if they'll sit and share some pie. I think they have three pieces of pie each because Lord right. knows you need three pieces of pie in the middle of the day. I would. Sure. In Twin Peaks. Um, sure. <laughs> and uh, Gordon Cole says to her, you know, Shelly, I'm leaving and I would regret it if I didn't do this. May I kiss you? And he kisses her. And as he's kissing her, Bobby <laughs> walks in. And Bobby... Yeah kind of freaks out about right. it, and Gordon Cole kind of shouting at him, which is normal speak for Gordon Cole, says, what are you looking at, Sonny? It's two right. people, like, right. kissing. Get a good look. Yeah. And then and he goes to kiss her again. Yeah. Um, and Don, uh, you know, Shelly doesn't seem terribly perturbed by it. I mean, no. in, in earlier in the episode, Bobby had said, like, I'm the one in charge now. Right, and the sure. last thing that Shelly really needs is another guy telling her what to do with her life. Right, right. Um, and that's not something Gordon Cole's interested in doing. He's sure. interested in having actual conversations with her because this is the only person whose voice he can right, hear, right. uh, and, and enjoying her company. Yeah. Um, so I thought that that was a very fun scene. One other ominous piece about the date with Cooper and Annie is that, of course, Wyndham Earl was observing, uh, their relationship. So that does not bode well for Annie. Yeah. And the other thing that we have from that scene is at the end of the episode, uh, he, Wyndham Earl has left a, a chess piece. Mm -hmm. Pete Martell has said, you know, well, we're going to lose the... The, one of you, the pawns, to a bishop, but then right. he'll lose the bishop, so it's a right. wash. But we know that if, if a pawn comes off the board, someone has to die. Right, sure. And it ends up being uh, this kind of punk rock, heavy metal dude. Yeah, sure. uh, is Sam Raimi? Tom. Yeah. One of the Raimi brothers. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the box is left at the gazebo, uh, right next to the park, next to the water, where mm -hmm. they had their date. Yeah. So they arrive... They open the box. It's the pawn with the, the you know, the pawn. Next um, time it will be someone you know. And that's what the that's what the yeah, sign says. Sure. So um, we know that, you know, Miss Twin Peaks pageant is being set up to be, you know, right. the queen being taken out with uh, Agent Cooper watching and there's nothing he can do. Um, we've got two episodes until that happens. So, yeah. yeah. Good episode. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. Thanks.